So it's time to pack the hospital bag. You know those stress balls that squeeze the goo out? That's kind of what your butt cheeks look like. Come along as I show you what's inside. Welcome to Anderson Lane. How's it going? Um, this is going to be a multiple thing. We're going to do kind of a little bit of a 34 week update and go into my hospital bag. So I went to the doctor. Everything's going well. The doctor talked induction, um, which I am all for. The baby's good as long as everything's okay. Both of my other children came naturally a week before, so I kind of planned on that anyway. So I'll be a week early. That means it is coming fast, really fast. So here we go. Let's dive right in. This is my hospital bag. I picked it up for five bucks. Not gonna be using it as my main diaper bag, but it will work perfect for my hospital bag. First of all, I wanna show you what I brought for baby. I have this swaddle blankie. This is the swaddle blanket that I got in my Amazon baby registry box. I love it, it's perfect. I wanna take some pictures in the hospital. This will be perfect, so that is my first thing for baby. I actually don't have a lot of stuff for baby because the hospital provides diapers, wipes, binkies, everything that you really need for the baby, so you just need to take something to bring him home in. But I can't decide what to bring him home in, so I have three different outfits. So the first one is a typical little brother outfit. It's cute, has some little blue pants to go with it, and some sockies. So that is our first outfit. Next up is this cute little outfit my mom sent me with a zebra hat, little beanie. Um, it's a button up, so this is good for their umbilical cord. Don't have to worry about that. And Little Last one, I think this is my favorite. It's this cute little fox outfit. As you can see, I have little foxes on the feet. That is actually it for baby. We do have the car seat that we'll be putting the base in the car here. I probably won't do that till like a week before. And it also has my nursing cover on it. Now it's on to stuff for me. I have some toiletries in a little toiletry bag in here. I don't really necessarily plan on using any of this. I have a couple things for makeup, just some little basics if I decide that I want to freshen up later. Also, I have some facial cleansing wipes. The hospital provides those, but I just wanted to take some just in case. And then toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant. This is definitely a need. I also brought an extra pair of contacts and some contact solution just in case mine have something, some sort of issue. And I'll probably throw in my glasses. And the biggest thing are extra hair ties. I always forget hair ties. Everywhere I go, I used to wear them on my wrist, but because I have pregnancy carpal tunnel again, it shuts off all the circulation. So I don't wear them on my wrist right now. So I threw in like a ton of these in here so that I have one if I need one. That is it for that flip-flops. I'm bringing a pair of flip-flops just in case I need to walk the halls before we have the baby to get in the shower, that kind of stuff. Sanitary. I know that the hospital provides you socks. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. Sometimes the little rubbery things on the bottom of them hurt my feet actually, which is weird because I can walk over rocks, but that kind of stuff hurts my feet. I don't get it. But I'm bringing two pairs of socks I'm bringing a nursing bra. I actually will be wearing a nursing bra there, and I plan on wearing a nursing bra while I'm delivering. If you didn't know, you can actually decide what you want to wear when you get there, as long as it is able to get to veins if they need it for IVs and that kind of stuff. I'm planning on wearing a nursing bra because I will be filming, and also if other people are in the room, I'm just a little bit more covered and it makes me feel a little bit less self-conscious. So, but I have a nursing bra in a size medium. This one is a size large for if my breasts get bigger when my milk comes in, which they probably will. So, 
I have one of both sizes, just in case. A change of clothes or going home outfit. I probably am not actually going to pack this in the bag because I only have two pair of pants to wear as it is. So these will probably just sit out because I'm sure that I will wear these between now and then. And hospital's only five minutes away. If I need something, I can send Curtis to go get it. Now on to more of the postpartum stuff. First of all, in the hospital they have the mesh underwear. They're uncomfortable, guys. Let's be real. You know those stress balls that squeeze the goo out? That's kind of what your butt cheeks look like when they go into those. Yeah, you don't need that to happen to your tush. So I have my undies. Nice and stretchy. These are actually menstrual underwear. They've got this lining in them. And they're high-waisted, so they pull in your belly. Because let me tell you guys, a little postpartum fact that they don't really talk about, especially if it's your second baby, you get cramping and contractions so that your uterus shrinks back down to normal size. Because your uterus has gone from being down in your lower regions to being all the way stretched up, up here. Yeah. So it's got to get back down to size. You will continue to have contractions after, and it especially hurts the more children that you have. And with my second one, it hurt worse when I was nursing. That would trigger the contractions, and boy howdy, did it hurt. And they don't really tell you about that. I went back and forth and back and forth. A lot of people I know do like Depends, um, so that they can just wear those and just throw them away. For me, I just decided I would try this this time. And then my last few things have to do with nursing. I'm planning on trying to breastfeed exclusively. And so these are some things that I've found from other people that they said saved them a ton. First off, this was the thing that I wanted to get most. Mother Love Nipple Cream. So I will actually start using this here probably in the next week or two to try and get my nipples ready for baby to latch on because breastfeeding is hard guys. Next thing are these Medela Hydrogel Cooling Packs for your breasts when your milk comes in because your boobs get hot and tender and they hurt and with everything else that is hurting, this I've heard is the best. They sometimes give these out in the hospital, so I will hide them in my bag and see if they will give me any, because let me tell you, these are expensive. Take them at the hospital if they will give them to you, um, but I just decided to slip them in my bag in case they didn't. And then the last thing that I have to go in my bag, actually I'm so excited, this just came in today. This is my Haka Breast Pump. I was talking to my lactation consultant and she suggested getting one of these. It's just more of a breast milk collector. You put it on the one while you're feeding on the other side and anything that falls out, you have, you can give it to the baby because that colostrum at the beginning is like that liquid gold. You wanna make sure that they're getting as much of it as they can. So that will be going in here as well. And that is it guys, that is my hospital bag. If you guys have anything that you think that I've missed or anything that you absolutely loved, I would love to hear from you. Please comment down below and let me know. Um, or if you guys think that I forgot something, let me know because pregnancy brain is real, people, and I forget lots of things. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love having you on this journey with us, and we will see you again next time.